You know, there's three kinds of Christians you have in the world. You have true believers, truly following Jesus Christ and the teaching of the Bible. You got true believers, you got non-believers, people who have rejected Jesus or don't know him or haven't heard the gospel. And you got fake believers, pretend Christians. People think it's a mockery of their Christian faith. They go to church, but some of the greatest church members in the world will go to hell. Fake believers. You can say we are, but we are lost without Jesus Christ. You can be we are good statement. We are lost without Jesus Christ. That's even above and beyond your college. We are lost without Jesus Christ. The Big Ten is not a bunch of colleges and sports. The Big Ten is the Ten Commandments. That's what the Big Ten is, the Ten Commandments. Honor the God of the Bible. Honor your parents. Do not steal. Do not commit murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not covet your neighbor's goods. Honor the Sabbath. The Ten Commandments are the Big Ten. Not colleges, not any sports. That state is not part of the Big Ten, they're not part of the Ten Commandments. You know, there's a lot of talk about LGBTQT, but God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, with Chloe and Zoe. You could be a bi, LGBTQT, you could be a bi, be a Bible sexual. Practice sex according to the Bible, only in marriage, be a Bible sexual. The Bible says you can also be trans, transformed through the renewing of your mind in Christ. You can be trans, transformed through the renewing of your mind in Christ. There's a lot of sexual immorality in the world today. What man wants to marry a woman that's had sex with 20 or 30 people and then a sperm duster? Who wants to marry a sperm duster? Or who wants to marry a guy who's had sex with 20 or 30 people and can't, can't get it up in bed without pornography about the bed. We got some people giving us the finger. I guess that's their IQ. Number one, is that their IQ? We got a five IQ. We got a one IQ. People can't give us the finger, but you're not going to have sex with me unless we're married. So you can't dream on for that. No man wants to marry a woman who's been a sperm dumpster for how many men we don't know. No man's going to want to marry that. And no woman's going to want to marry a guy that's just been in bed with so many women he can't even recount it. I know people get in bed, can't have sex with their wife without porno over the bed to focus on. Miss Centerfold. Or Miss Centerfold, whatever you want to call it. For God so loved the world, He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, so we would not perish, but have everlasting life. Even in the music today, the gospel is preached whether they like it or not. Ozzy Osbourne has a song that talks about day of judgment. God is coming, people on their knees are crawling, sinners in line, wondering what to say, and stay break on the judgment day. Even Ozzy Osbourne knows part of the gospel. The power of Another song by a group out of Australia. The highway to hell, no stop signs, no speed limits, nothing's going to slow you down. You're on the highway to hell. Bob Scott drowned in his own puke after singing that song, probably went on the highway to hell. But there is one thing that can turn you around, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ his blood on the cross. That can save you from the highway to hell. But if you want to go to hell, God will let you go if that's what you want. Do nothing and you'll make it. We got a lot of people here watching the blue and white game. Tonight they want to get hammered. Jesus Christ was hammered on the cross for you. That's the ultimate hammering what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Hammered for you. 
that's about a hangover, Jesus your size will hug over, three nails on the top. For your sake, bleed for you, Jared, is a hangover, hug over a cross. Jesus Christ was hammered on the cross for you when you think about getting hammered. You think about getting hung over, he was hung over the cross for you. Do not be deceived, God is not mocked whenever a man so effectually reap. Last week we were out here preaching. So what happened? The past year, the past week, a million people on this planet have died. About a hundred people a minute die. That's a million people a week, and most people did not make it to heaven. Do not be deceived, God is not mocked whenever a man so effectually reap. You sow destruction, you reap destruction. You sow the things of God, you reap eternal life in heaven. The gospel is quite simple. The gospel boils down to two things. Repent and believe. Repent and believe. What is repentance? That means you're truly sorry for your sin. You're truly sorry for your sin. And you want to change, you want to stop sinning. How do you do that? Accepting that Christ paid for your sin by the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So that's how you repent. What steps do you believe? You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you should be saved. You believe that his death and resurrection paid the price for your sin. You turn your life over to him. You ask him to take control of your life and teach you how to live. You read the Bible, you do what it says, and you avoid what it says to avoid. It's that simple. If you want to know what it is to cause the heaven, come to one of us. You can explain it to you for five minutes and give you something to take away and read. The gospel is simple. God doesn't need your money, he wants your life. Salvation is free, but it is not cheap. We need to run away from sin. You know, God has a plan for your life. A purpose, a job, relationships. He has a plan for your life. He knew you before you were in your mother's womb. God knew you. He has a plan for your life. And it's a wonderful plan. God said, I gave, said Jesus, he gave that we might have life and have it abundantly. That it be fun and meaningful. A fool says But why don't we have the life God created us for? It's because we sin. All of sin is fallen short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, none not one, not one who is righteous and unsin. And someday there's a payday for that sin. And the wages of sin is death. Eternal separation from God. Yeah, Jesus turned water into wine, Latin grapes, not processed, distilled liquor, alcohol. And why does the mocker strong drink the fools? The Bible says, do not be filled with wine, be filled with the Spirit. Come out of here. Spirit of God. Come out of here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. But the wages of sin and death, someday there's a payday. Not twice a week or once a month, a paycheck. The wages of sin is death. Separation from God. The Bible says, do not fear the one that can destroy the body or soul. Do not fear the one that can destroy the body. Fear the one that can destroy body and soul in hell. Do not fear the first death. It's appointed up to man once to die and after this is judgment. After this is judgment. Jesus spoke to Beelzebub in the desert. And Jesus took 
murdered unto man to die and after this is death the Bible says do not fear the one that can destroy the body fear the one that can destroy the body and suffer in hell what we're here to we care about people yeah people laugh at us so what the Bible says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The Bible also says a fool in his heart says there is no God. You devils have to flee in the name of Jesus. Where is God? The fool in his heart says there is no God. You know, people go to colleges and people go to school, but they're not the Lord Jesus for educated fools. Trump cannot save me, your GPA, your good looks, your bank account, your family, boyfriend, your girlfriend, husband, and wife, they cannot save you. Their salvation is no one else, no other name given unto heaven whereby we must be saved. Only in the Lord Jesus Christ. We're here because we care about you people. You need prayer. You need prayer for your study. You need prayer for money. You're thinking of having an abortion. You want help with that. You need a ride to church. You want some real friends. We're here to help you with all that stuff. God wants to meet your needs, but he doesn't need to meet your dreams. God is not a confessor. Grab it, confess it, and grab it type of preacher. Grab it, grab it. He's a holy God, and he wants us to live sinless. God demonstrated his love towards us, and for while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. A lot of people ask, why is there only one way to heaven? We're not talking religion here. We're talking friendship with God. That's what Christianity is. It's not a religion. It's not earn your way to heaven through work. It's a free gift of grace through the death of Jesus Christ. Friendship with God is what Christianity is. It's not a religion. There's 4,200 belief systems in the world where people try to get to heaven through their own efforts. That's what religion is. Christianity is where you get God comes down and died on the cross. They have friendship with us so we can go to heaven. Where is the power of God? If we could bring somebody up here from hell, they would beg, plead, and cry with you not to go there. Do you think we were out on this for us? Be up here from hell to preach about what it's like. The Bible talks about it in Luke chapter 16. A rich man died, went to hell, and he was tormented there. And he spoke to Abraham, dipped his tip in the, and he dipped the tip of his face in what it's my tongue because I'm tormented in this fire. That's how bad hell is. The preaching of the cross is to them that bear it through The Bible says, the preaching of the cross is to them going to hell without foolishness. Is this look stupid to you? That's a pretty good indicator to check the box of where you're going. The preaching of the cross is to them who are perishing foolishness. God chooses the foolish things of the world to communicate with people. Spoke to Moses through a burning bush. Spoke to a man in the Old Testament through a jackass. Do not consider the messenger, consider the message. 4,200 religions in the world. It's not all rivers go to the same ocean. It's not that. There's only one way to heaven. There's salvation to no one else, no other name other than Jesus Christ given, whereby we must be saved. Do not put it off. Beaver Stadium has 110,000 people. Double that die almost every day. Shut the fuck up. Oh, no, I'm not going to shut up.
Huh? There's soul in the balance. Yo, I'm just saying, you know, I'm There's like, soul I'm in like the balance. Super, I'm super dead. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna show it. I'm like three. The gods to love the world again. His only son. Jesus. We're going this way. Yeah. Dr. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, if you're a homosexual, God will judge that. Oh, 